Guys, Subur is an absolute beast when it comes to evolution. Go to Subur's channel Darwinian Delusions for more and let's look at his best bits that I could find. Smile to Jen, yeah. <laughs> Why were the founding fathers of the fields of physics, chemistry, biology, psychology, sociology, anthropology, theists? Now, in the 20th century, when we've made so much progress, you guys have decided to come out of your caves and say, Well, this is all due to us. Where were you for the last thousand years? We were all theists, or we were all hiding from theists, weren't we? Bruh. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. You, if you can show me a single peer-reviewed scientific paper where there is any direct ridicule of any religious belief whatsoever then I will put my hands up and I'll say that's wrong Wow! The Nature Office which is behind King's Cross which is the most prestigious peer-reviewed journal in the world there is a peer-reviewed paper where they are criticizing critics Impressive. of Darwinian evolution and in that peer-reviewed um, article he does a false dichotomy between Darwinian evolution and the idea of a benevolent god Fatality. and he takes these two ideas and he ridicules this That's a single thing from a single person Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What's going on here ladies and gentlemen? Can show me a single period it's time to scientific... And atheists haven't done much, frankly. <laughs> Try to separate science They haven't sent us to the moon, haven't done every technological yeah, advancement on the Okay, number one, we went to the moon based upon Newtonian mechanics. Guess what? Isaac Newton was not an atheist. He was a devout Christian. And the greatest thing that he believed he achieved in his life was to die a virgin. Right? He was not an atheist. Are you kidding? Two, two. But secondly, the scientific method, its product, is space exploration. That's based upon science, and the first scientist was a Muslim. Pay your respects. <laughs> Throne defended. Hitler, what he did is he applied Darwinism to a social context. He applied eugenics to a social context. Yep, and who came up with eugenics? Darwin's cousin. And his son, Leonard Darwin, is the father of eugenics in this country. And Hitler applied it. Talk to people about the modern theory of evolution. Get rid of the word Darwinism, because that seems to me okay. a man. Okay. Which modern theory? Because we have also genetic evolution, we have evolution by natural genetic engineering, we have neo-Lamarckian evolution, we have neo-mutationism, we have evolution by self-organization and the acquirements of entire genomes. We have all these different evolutionary models. Most of them are non-Darwinian. Is it too late now to say sorry? Wallahi, you're finished. If that's true, then you being in this secular society, you should also challenge the material genesis story of atheism. I think it is challenged. If it is challenged, then give me any evidence in any school in this country or university where you can openly teach alternatives to Darwinian evolution and where you can openly criticize Darwinian evolution. You only believe in it because of socialization. You don't understand it. I am reading books on it. That's why. I so you understand it? Are you making understand that? It fully? Thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm looking for. Just admit it. Do, you don't do understand any, does it. Does anybody understand anything fully? <laughs> you have your little YouTube channel. You come around here. You're trying to talk to people, right? I came here just to show you do not have a clue what you're talking about. In that book, we're allowed to do that in the free world, right? But in the free world, I could also insult your mother, but I'm not going to do that. My Detroit players came from a home games in Brooklyn. Every single society has limits on the freedom of speech. Every single society. Of course. Without exception. You do have no idea how Darwinian evolution works. I have a basic idea, that's it. If you're going to question me... Okay, let's check your basic idea. A basic What's idea. your basic Natural idea? Selection through mutation. That's the basic idea. That's not even Darwinism! <laughs> It's that? natural selection plus random mutations. So what? If it's natural selection plus mutations, guess what it becomes? Epigenetics. So, orthogenetic evolution. You don't understand Darwinian evolution. You've only been socialized into it. 
as you guys know it's holiday season we got a lot of time off some of you guys watching are kids some of you are watching that are parents but your kids have doubts speakers corner is a brilliant thing to watch together some episodes are half an hour some 10 minutes some an hour and there's all sorts of topics with christians with shias with atheists with agnostics so i definitely suggest especially in this period of time where there's so much doubt and misinformation instead of watching netflix watch speakers corner flex there's loads of speakers yeah you got ali dawa you got muhammad hijab you got hamza from ef dawa you got hashim you got mansoor you got subur and these are a few top guys yeah veterans i'd suggest to start off with these it's grassroots dawah yeah they're not pulling back punches and to hear responses to come from that scene definitely check it out until next time guys <laughs> Assalamu alaikum